Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my best secondhand bargain shoe finds. Um, I often say to people that it's really hard to find good shoes secondhand because either they're worn out or they've been donated because they're a bit uncomfortable, they don't quite fit right. But actually, when I started looking through my wardrobe to do this video, I have got tons of amazing options. So I take it all back. You can totally find awesome shoes secondhand, whether it's charity shops, car boot sales, consignment stores, eBay. There's definitely a bunch of awesome secondhand shoes out there. So save your money. So I thought I would start with boots. First of all, this pair of lovely silver pointed toe beauties. I got these from Primark. Um, they were in the sale and they were marked as five pounds and then they came through the till as two. And I was like, what? <laughs> so I love these. They're kind of a little bit like 80s kind of punky with the pointed toe, like a little bit cowboy boot style. But they're metallic silver. The heel is just the right height. They're super comfy. I think they're amazing. Then next is a total staple um, black ankle boot. These I got from my favourite charity shop on Ashley Road, which is Waggy Tails. They're a dog charity, they always have the best stuff. They've got this really cool like scalloped edge along the front. Um, they were marked as £4, but in the shop everything was half price, so they were only £2. They've got this really cute tassel on, £2, the money went to charity, cannot go wrong. And then I've got a lot of full length boots that I've got at car boot sales and that kind of thing, but I thought I would just show you one. These are, um, they've got a brown bit at the top and then they're black all the way through. So they're um, just onto your knee, just about. Um, they've got these really cool buckles on and these were three pounds from a car boot sale in um, Sweden. So next onto flats, um, I got these Nike trainers um, from a Facebook group. Someone was selling them for five pounds. Um, I've worn them quite a lot, but they were new when I got them. And I think they're so cool. They're quite a good, like you can wear them for sport, but you can also wear them just for like a trainer look in the day. They're not too sporty looking. So I wear these a lot. I've taken them to Thailand with me. Um, and I think they're really, really cool, like grey and pink, love them, total bargain. Then similarly, I've got these silver Converse's that I got from a charity shop um, called Lewis Manning here in Poole, they're a local hospice. Um, these were £6, they're genuine Converse's, they hadn't really been worn, um, and because they're silver, they're a really cool like statement shoe, if you still want to be practical. I quite often wear them with a dress to kind of make it more casual, um, or with printed trousers I think they're so cool they always get loads of compliments and they got a ton of likes on Instagram so that's always a good sign and then I have a lot of flats that I always get in charity shops especially like the Primark ones or new look ones they're quite often brand new in the charity shops but the pair that I wear the most are these leopard print ones and um, they're a kind of horsehair material and I got them at Pimlico car boot sale in London for two pounds I'll link the video where I did a whole haul of everything I got there but this is one of the things and I've worn them a ton I just think leopard print goes with everything um, so I wear them all the time and then finally on two heels I've got this pair which um, has like a flower on the front I actually bought these off eBay just as they were and then I bought these flowers in Vietnam I was in um, one of the night markets and there was this whole stall with a massive mound of these silk flowers on so I bought loads and then like carefully carried them all the way home back to England in my suitcase um, and then I just had my dad glue them onto a bunch of my shoes so I've got lots of shoes like this now with the flowers on the front um, I think they're really nice and they always get loads of compliments then these beauties are from Charlotte Russe. Um, I got them from Buffalo Exchange in Boston, which is a consignment store. So everything is secondhand, um, but it doesn't go to charity. The person selling it gets the money and the shop takes a cut. Um, these I think were $20, so a little bit more expensive than the others, but a total bargain because they are epic, basically. Um, I think they were a copy of a designer version. I think it might have been Mimi. Um, anyway, if I can find the original, I will include a picture or a link, um, but they're so spectacular. I love the silver and the pink. They go really well with blonde. They're totally over the top, but I don't even care. Next are these, which I got from everything5pounds.com, which is a website where everything is five pounds. Um, you also pay for the postage, but it's basically a total bargain. And these look so expensive, in my opinion. They've got that lovely like lace-up front and the closed toe, which I much prefer. And they're a really quite sensible height. They're just 
they're just right really and they just zip up at the back so you don't have to bother with all the buckle and stuff I think they're so gorgeous they're really classy and I think they look very expensive and then finally, I only got these last week. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen them already. But I got these amazing shoes um, for six pounds in Lewis Manning again, the hospice where I got the Converse's in Wimborne, which is just near me here. They are Zara snakeskin lace-up stilettos and they are unbelievable. I mean, such a bargain. I'm sure they must be this season because this design has been all over the runways, all over the designer, all the expensive bloggers in their Chanel have been wearing these. So these were an epic find. I was super excited. So that is it for my bargain shoe collection. Obviously I've got about 10 times as many shoes as I've shown you and almost all of them are secondhand, but this is just a little taster of the kind of thing you can get if you go looking in your local charity shops and car boot sales. So I really hope that's got you excited to go and do some charity shopping. Comment below if you've got some amazing charity shop bargains yourself. Um, definitely like and subscribe, I'll be doing loads more charity shop hauls, some tips on how to find the best things and some of my favourite places around the world to go thrifting. So thank you so much for watching, see you again soon. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do my winter beauty favourite products. I'm going to start with lips. I really, really struggle in the winter with my lips getting dry.